So in today's ordinary differential equation, I am going to do theorems on linearly independent solutions. So let me start with it. So two solutions phi1 and phi2, this is theorem 1, okay, theorem 1. This is theorem 1. Two solutions phi1 and phi2 of L of phi is equal to 0 are linearly independent on interval i. If and only if, this is a Ronskian, okay. W of phi1, comma phi2 of x is not equal to 0 for all x in i. Now proof starts like this. Suppose that this Ronskian W of phi1, comma phi2 of x is not equal to 0 for all x in i. Now, we know that the solution of phi1 and phi2 of L of phi is equal to 0 are linearly independent when this Ronskian of this is not equal to 0. So, if and only if statement is there. See, you all can see over here if and only if statement is there. So, if, if and only if statement is there, what you all are going to do is, if we are going to prove converse part as well. Okay? Now, uh, taking this, we will prove this and then we'll, we will be taking this and we will prove this, okay? Now, first what I will do is, uh, let me take this one first. So, suppose that W of phi1, comma phi2 of x is not equal to 0 for all x in i, then what will happen? Let C1 and C2 be constant such that c1 into phi1 of x plus c2 into phi2 of x is equal to 0. Okay, and take this as 1 for all x in i. Then also c1 into phi, uh, phi1 dash of x plus c2 into phi2 of dash of x is equal to 0 and take this as 2. If we are removing the, if we are differentiating this, we will get this, right? After differentiating that, okay, and, and consider this as 2. For all x in i. Now for a fixed x, the equation 1 and 2 are linear homogeneous equations satisfied by c1 and c2. Okay, now next is what? The determinant of the coefficient is w of phi1, comma phi2 of x which is not 0. That means this Ronskian is not equal to 0, it means, okay. Now, what this will imply that C1 is equal to 0 and C2 is equal to 0 is the only solution of equation 1 and 2. So, this is the only solution for this equation 1 and this 2, okay. So, if C1 and C2 both are 0 for this, then we can say that this proves that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on i, on interval i it is, okay. So, now we proved that, now taking this we proved that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on interval i, right. Now we will uh, take this that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent and we will prove this, okay. So, converse part is what, suppose that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on i, suppose there is an x0 in i such that Ronskian that is w of phi1 comma phi2 of x0 is equal to 0. Now, this implies that the system of two equations now, these are the two system of two equations, okay, that is c1 into phi1 of x0 plus c2 into phi2 of x0 is equal to 0 and take this as 3. Second is what if we differentiate this, then we will get this c1 into phi1 dash of x0 plus c2 into phi2 dash of x0 is equal to 0 and take this as 4. Now, this has a solution c1 and c2 has a solution c1 and c2 where at least one of these is not 0. Let c1 and c2 be such a solution and consider the function. Now what function we have to consider? Psi is equal to c1 into phi1 plus c2 into phi2. Now, 
now l of uh, psi is equal to 0 from 3 and 4 what we get from this 3 and 4 sorry uh, psi of x naught is equal to 0 and psi dash of x naught is equal to 0 now from the uniqueness theorem we get so I'll turn the page now from my uni uh, from uniqueness theorem or by uniqueness theorem. Okay, from the uniqueness theorem we get what? Uh, psi of x is equal to zero. Okay, for all x in interval i. Next is what? Thus c1 into phi1 of x plus c2 into phi2 of x is equal to zero for all x in i. This contradicts, now this contradicts the fact that phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on i. Thus the assumptions that there was a point x0 in i such that w of phi1, phi2 of x0 is equal to 0 is false. Okay, now this implies what that Ronskin of phi1, phi2 of x is not equal to 0. Hence we proved. So, now we proved the second part of also the converse part also are done okay because first what i have done taking this i have proved that phi 1 and phi 2 are linearly independent now taking that phi 1 and phi 2 are linearly independent i have proved this okay now let us do the second theorem Okay, now second theorem is what? Let phi1 and phi2 be two solutions of f of y is equal to 0 on an interval i. And x0 be any point in i, then phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on i. If and only if Ronskian of phi1, comma phi2 of x0 is not equal to 0. Okay. Now here what is there? Here there is one point x0 in interval i so we have already proved uh, that phi 1 and phi 2 uh, half of the part okay so let us do directly i'll explain you all how to do it so the proof starts like this if phi 1 and phi 2 are linearly independent on i then ronskin this is w of phi 1 comma phi 2 of x is not equal to 0 for all x in i by the theorem w of phi1 comma phi2 of x0 is not equal to 0 okay now we have already proved this no if phi1 and phi2 are linearly independent on i then ron skin of this is not equal to 0 for all x in i which theorem it is theorem 1 starting only from this theorem we got that okay now uh, let us prove the converse part conversely wait okay Conversely, suppose w of phi1, phi2 of x0 is not equal to 0 and c1, c2 are constant such that turn the page. Okay. So, let me zoom it first. c1 into phi1 of x plus c2 into phi2 of x is equal to 0 for all x in i. Okay. Then we have c1 into phi1 of x0 plus c2 into phi2 of x0 is equal to 0. If you differentiate this, c1 into phi1 dash of x0 plus c2 into phi2 dash of x0 is equal to 0. And since the determinant of the coefficient is Ronskian, this w of phi1 comma phi2 of x0 is not equal to 0, we obtain what? So if this is not equal to 0 that means it is independent right and if it is independent then c1 is equal to c2 is equal to 0 we obtain this okay and thus finally you all can say that phi1 comma phi2 are linearly independent on i on interval i this okay i hope you so now after this i will be doing this one th theorem 3 okay let phi1 and phi2 be any 
two linearly independent solution of L of y is equal to zero on an interval i. Every solution phi of L of y is equal to zero can be written uniquely has phi is equal to c1 into phi1 plus c2 into phi2 where c1 comma c2 are constant okay so here c1 comma c2 are what constants right so let me prove this on the next page so let x not be a point in i since phi1 comma phi2 are linearly independent on i we know that w this ronskian of phi1 comma phi2 of x naught is not equal to 0 because we have already proved also that okay if it is linearly independent that means this is not equal to 0 okay now let phi of x naught is equal to alpha and phi dash of x naught is equal to beta and consider the two equations so i have to consider these two equations okay this equation and this So now for phi of x0 it is alpha, phi dash of x0 it is equal to beta. So c1, now what is your phi of x0? c1 into phi1 of x0 plus c2 into phi2 of x0 is equal to alpha. Which, okay. Now what is phi dash of x0? c1 into phi. Okay, if we are differentiating this what we are going to get? c1 into phi1 dash of x0 plus c2 into phi dash uh, phi 2 dash of x naught is equal to beta okay like this you will have to consider for dash now for the constant c1 comma c2 since the determinant of the coefficient of c1 comma c2 is just this w of phi 1 comma phi 2 of x naught is not equal to 0 so there is a unique pair of constant c1 comma c2 satisfying this equations choose c1 c2 to this to be this constant then the function psi is equal to c1 into phi1 plus c2 into phi2 is such that phi, psi of x0 is equal to phi of x0 psi dash of x0 is equal to phi dash of x0 and l of psi is equal to 0 from the uniqueness theorem it follows that psi is equal to phi on i that is now this i'll take down phi is equal to c1 into phi1 plus c2 into phi2 so they have taken this function okay such that what will be the point psi of x0 is equal to they have taken this phi of x0 and phi de, uh, psi dash of x0 is equal to this phi dash of x0 okay and L of, we were taking L of phi, you know, here it is L of psi, which is equal to 0. And then by the uniqueness theorem, this happens. On interval i, that is this. Finally, you got this answer. And we, what we were supposed to prove, that phi is equal to c1 into phi1 plus c2 into phi2. This thing can be written in this form. So, similarly, we have done for this thing also. So, in the next uh, lecture, I will be doing a formula for the on skin okay formula for sorry formula for on skin this okay in the next lecture okay i hope you all have understood and thanks for watching i hope you all have understood the concept and if you all have not understood any of the concept you all can comment below